The Tall Book of Christmas. An excerpt from The Christmas Story, according to St. Luke and St. Matthew. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, and every one into his own city. And Joseph went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, and being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she would be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them at the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round them. And they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, and the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now, even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known to us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph. It was the night the dear Christ child came to Bethlehem. In a country far away from him, an old woman named Babushka sat in her snug little house by her warm fire. The wind was drifting the snow outside and howling down the chimney, but it only made Babushka's fire burn more brightly. How glad am I that I may stay indoors, said Babushka, holding her hands out to the bright blaze. But suddenly she heard a loud rap at her door. She opened it and her candle shone on three old men standing outside in the snow. Their beards were as white as the snow and so long that they reached the ground. Their eyes shone kindly in the light of Babushka's candle, and their arms were full of precious things, boxes of jewels and sweet-smelling oils and ointments. We have traveled far, Babushka, they said, and we stopped to tell you of the baby prince born this night in Bethlehem. He comes to rule the world and teach all men to be loving and true. We carry him gifts. Come with us, Babushka. But Babushka looked at the driving snow and then inside at her cozy room and the crackling fire. It's too late to go with you, good sirs, she said. The weather is too cold. She went inside again and shut the door, and the old men journeyed on to Bethlehem without her. But as Babushka sat by her fire, rocking, she began to think about the little Christ child, for, who, for she loved all the babies. Tomorrow I will go find him, she said, tomorrow when it is light, and I will carry him some toys. So when it was morning, Babushka put on her long cloak and took her staff and filled her basket with pretty things as a baby would like, gold balls and wooden toys and strings of silver cobwebs, and she set out to find the Christ child. But oh, Babushka had forgotten to ask the three old men the road to Bethlehem, and they had traveled so far through the night that she could not overtake them. Up and down the roads she hurried, through the woods and fields and towns, saying to whomever she met, I go to find the Christ child. Where does he lie? I bring some pretty toys for his sake. But no one could tell her the way to go. And all they said was farther on, Babushka, farther on. So she traveled on and on and on for years and years, but she never found the little Christ child. They say that old Babushka is traveling still looking for him. When it comes to Christmas Eve and the children are lying fast asleep, Babushka comes softly through the snowy fields and towns, wrapped in her long cloak and carrying her basket on her arm. With her staff, she raps gently at the doors and goes inside and holds her candle close to the children's faces. Is he here? She asks. Is the little Christ child here? And then she turns sorrowfully away again, crying, farther on, farther on. But before she leaves, she takes a toy from her basket and lays it beside the pillow for a Christmas gift. For his sake, she says softly, and then hurries on through the years and forever in search of the little Christ child.